Today I have a super simple mac and cheese recipe where once you take one bite, you're gonna throw that box kind out the window. So let's get started. Uh, this recipe calls for wide noodles. You can use any type of noodle that you want. If you are into classic mac and cheese, you can do your elbow macaroni. Uh, but I have wide noodles here today and I already boiled them. And I did it a couple minutes under the specified time just so uh, it's still good when we put it in the oven to bake because we're cooking it twice. So now we're just gonna take one egg, pour it in, give it a quick little stir. And this just helps bind it together. All right, now we are gonna put some salt and pepper. I learned this recipe from my mom, grew up with it. So I always think hers tastes better, but let's hope I can one day beat it. So once that is pretty mixed, we're gonna take the cheese, and it's just one bag of cheddar cheese. I have um, reduced fat, so we can be a little healthier. And we're gonna use pretty much the whole bag. You're gonna keep about one fourth left, so we can sprinkle some on top. All right, we're gonna mix this in. Get it all in there. Now, we're gonna move this over into a pan, and you can really use any type of dish that you want to cook this in. Um, I grew up with it in a casserole dish, but the problem with that is I could really eat it in one sitting. So, to help uh, better my portion sizes, I have a muffin tin, and I just uh, pre-pan sprayed it, so nothing gets stuck in it. And we're just gonna put some in each, in each little tin. The good thing about this is that it's also great, um, besides portion control, is uh, grabbing it on the run. You can throw a couple in uh, Tupperware and you don't have to worry about slicing and then re, you know, re-wrapping the casserole dish and uh, takes less room, takes up less room in the fridge. So now you're just gonna sprinkle a little cheese on top of each and you're definitely gonna have some uh, remaining noodles in your bowl. Uh, so you can throw that into a smaller loaf pan or um, even place it in Tupperware and cook it a few days later. It, it'll keep for just a little bit. Can't go with enough cheese. That's the best part. So now that the cheese is on top of all of them, we have it nicely placed in this muffin tin. And we are just going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. After our 25, 30 minutes are up, we're gonna take our mac and cheese out of the oven. Smell delicious. I'm gonna show you just how cute they are. They hold little tiny cups. Okay. Go in for a bite. Cheesy and delicious.